In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to conduct more complex searches in the AMINA database using the advanced search functions. Please make sure you have already watched the earlier tutorials on searching the database and finding your records for an introduction to searching and how to get started. The advanced search has two main functions that differ from the basic search. First, it allows you to search within specific fields or entire cards of the database so that you can be confident your search will produce exactly what you are looking for. Second, it allows you to build on and combine those searches using AND and OR functions. To get started, from the, from the search page, click on Advanced to open the Advanced Search window. You will see the advanced search window open and a list of search facets on the right side of the screen. The search facets are organized by resource type, such as built component, detailed condition assessment, heritage place, etc. And then beneath each of them, you will find the different cards that are within those um, different types of records. And within those cards, you will find different types of fields. You can scroll up and down or use the search bar at the top to find the card that you wish to search by. So click on the facet that you want to search by and a box will appear in the advanced search window with the same fields that you would find in that card when you were creating or editing a record. So for example, if I want to search um, for all records in the country of Libya, I would find the geography card so we go to Heritage Place, Geography, and click on it. And you will see here the same fields that appear in the Geography card when you're editing a record. To search for Libya then, I would go down to the Country field, and you'll see the same terms and drop down in a drop-down menu that appear in the drop-down menu in the editing, um, <coughs> editing windows. So here I'll click on Libya, and my search results will update automatically, and we can see that I have 12,308 Heritage Place records in Libya. You can use the smaller dropdowns on the left side of the main dropdowns to control whether to include or exclude a term. So here we have the option equals, that is the default, but I could change that to not to exclude the term Libya. And now we have 161,348 records, heritage place records, which are not located in Libya. If I change that back to equals, some of the other drop downs have slightly different terms, so they have like or not like, which means that it will um, include or exclude terms that are not only exact matches, but are similar matches, such as alternate spellings. Um, and also references or do not reference works the same as equals or not. Within the same card, you can refine your search further um, by adding more, choosing more search entries within the same card. So for example, if I want to search for um, the grid square, a specific grid square, I'll choose one E14 N32-32 and click on it to add it. You will see that it further refines our results down to just 42, which is the number of results that are within this grid square and also identified as being within Libya. This is essentially an AND query. If you want to add a search term which does not appear in the same card, all you do is find the card in the search facet field again, so I'm going to clear this, um, to add an additional search facet box below your first one. I'm going to get rid of this um, term, the grid square term, and go back to just our search for the country of Libya, but then I want to add a search for within Libya sites which have an interpretation of cemetery. So to do that, I will find the interpretation card. So I'm going to scroll down to Heritage Place, click on Site Feature Interpretation, and if you scroll down in the window here, you will now see that another box has appeared, the Site Feature Interpretation box. So I will click on Interpretation Type, 
type in cemetery to find my term, click on it, and now our results have updated so that we have 349 results of sites that have been interpreted as cemeteries in Libya. You can continue to add further search facets, search boxes, to filter your results further. Now when you add a new search facet, you will notice that each of the new ones has an AND or an OR option at the top. They will default to AND. This means that your search results will only return records where both terms have been found. So in the last example, that means again that the sites are in Libya and have been interpreted as cemeteries. However, if we were to search this to OR, just by clicking on OR here, this will change the relationship between the search terms and will return a list of sites that are in Libya or sites that have been interpreted as cemeteries, no matter what country they are in. So it searches for the terms separately. And you can see here that the number of results has increased to 13,157. <clears throat> you can remove um, search facets by clicking on the Remove button in the lower right corner. We're going to learn more about the OR function in the next video.